my kids have mastered riding a bike this summer. And I was actually shocked because it only took about eight practices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a QR code so we can talk about putting this in your book. This has been a requested tutorial. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane. I've published 607 books. I've got one in purgatory right now. I almost want to say 608. I'm trying to get to 100 in 2025, but we will see. I have crossed six figures for this income stream, and we're going to talk about QR codes. QR codes are a way to put your content in a clickable visual manner. Okay, so on my screen here, I have Canva. I am using Canva Pro account, and I typically like to use the logo template. So let's dive in. In here, you can see that the logo is 500 by 500 X. I have one here. I'm going to just click on that. It's going to open it up. On the left hand side of Canva, you will find a lot of different options. Let me pull this up so you can see my screen. So once we have our canvas open, we're going to go over here to the right hand side and just let me move my little head out of the way. We're going to go scroll down here. This is a Canva Pro feature. If you have Canva free, let me know if you've seen it, okay? Because it really just depends if they've rolled out some or not. There's a spot here that says QR code and QR code batch. Okay. You can choose either one of those. You can also go up to apps. And when you're in discover, you would simply type in Q R and you can see all these things come up. There's so many different QR, um, like, processes. These are all apps that people have plugged into Canva. So I simply choose the QR code generator and then I click on the one that I want. You can see there's so many different ones here, but let's just go ahead and say that um, you have a freebie for your book and you want to give your customers something to download. So you would simply put in the link here and you would hit generate. Now, let me show you I, when I do QR codes, I want to know who comes from Amazon. So I'm going to use a URL that only is available in a specific place. That is the best way for me to be able to track these QR codes. Okay. And so once you have this here, you can add to it. You're going to go ahead and save this as a PNG. You can save this as a JPEG. PMG seems like a really great way to paste it into a book, okay? So let's actually just copy this, control C if you're on a HP or Dell. And then we're going to go up to a file. Let's just create a new file. Let's say we were putting this in the back of a word search, okay? I actually have one here as a template that I give to all of my students. Um, where they can come in and create their own word search. Okay. Um, so we have this page here. It's eight and a half by 11. And we are going to just add another page here. Okay. So let's say the end of our book, right? This is the end of our book. We are opening this word search template. So imagine your book is done, right? You've got 80 to 110 pages of word searches. And you want to give the customer something free, okay? So you would add a page to the end of your book. And we would just go ahead and put grab your gift. Now, Amazon says that anything that we give away in the back of our book should not exceed more than 10% of the value of our book. So be very conscious of this, um, this QR code that we have built already inside of our Canva account. The really important thing to remember about this process is that it is the Amazon, this is Amazon's customer, okay? We are kind of like secondary to Amazon's customer. So you could literally, um, you can put your QR code in here, okay? And then when the book is printed and shipped, then you, the customer would buy it, right? And they open up their book and there's the QR code as a physical paper. 
Now, let me just do a little bit of my framework here so you can see what I do um, for like my QR code rules, because um, I know somebody that made six figures with their book account and they had more than they had too many bonuses in their book in their books and they had a six figure income stream from this and they had their account terminated um and so it, these are really important rules okay so no more than 10 percent. so this means like don't put a freebie on every single page right we don't want the customer we don't want Amazon to see us as someone that's just trying to get the customers from them. Okay. So that is the first part. The second part is that every single uh, QR code that I use, um, my codes or the link, let's say the link leads to the free thing. Okay. So what I mean by this, this is really important. I'm not asking for an email address. Um, and the reason why is because I want at least one step between Amazon customer and me. I don't want Amazon to have any reason to say, Jenny, this is not okay. Okay. So here is the neat thing about this is when they receive the free thing, the free thing asks for the email address. Okay, in exchange for something else. Okay, so this is really powerful. So here's the thing you need to give them enough value that they actually want to give you their email address. So think about in marketing, we say like sell the thing that sells the thing. What is something else you can give them that they're like, oh, I trust Jenny. She's already given me this free thing. And in this free thing, she's like, hey, do you want to learn more about this? Okay. And then that is where you can ask for the email address to start building your email list. Um, you want to, here's the other thing, the other bonus tip from Canva's or sorry, Amazon's terms and conditions is um, the table of contents. You have to disclose that you have a freebie. Okay. You have to disclose that. That's it's in the rules and it says that your freebies need to be in the table of contents. So literally like it can be, you can have a, a very last chapter. Now, if you don't have chapters and you're doing like a low content book, or medium content book in the intro, you can actually say, we've got a gift for you at the back. Amazon doesn't actually want you putting QR codes inside of your, at the beginning of your book. Okay. That's in their terms and conditions too. So I'll put that here too, just as a reminder. Now, if you, let's see, back of the book or the end, right? So I'll actually, if you want a copy of this little PDF and this little word search template, then I will put it in the description of this video. But let me know what questions you have about using QR codes to build your email list. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Oh my goodness. I almost missed the opportunity to turn this freebie into a QR code. This is like the true inception. So bless you that are still here after I said love you. Peace out. Okay, so what I did is I grabbed this template that I told you I was going to give you. And, um, what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to ask for your email. I'm literally going to just give it to you with a QR code, right? So I took this, I'm entering the URL here, literally this, you open your phone and it will give you access to this. Okay. Now, for those of you that are like, I don't want to open my phone to do our QR code, then I will put the link below and I will give you a copy to this. I'm going to do a little bit extra freebie for this. So if you want that, I will send you to my site where you can, we can trade email address for this, but let me know how this video has helped you or what other videos like this would help you. So we can Go faster and get more results on our publishing journey together.